Benjamin Moore Paints contacted Dependable Concrete to replace a hazardous step. In this video, I will demonstrate to you how we perform this job. After demoing the concrete, we set the form. We use 4000 PSI fiber integrated concrete. For a good cast, we vibrate the forms. To prevent lost revenue, we installed a ramp for Benjamin Moore's clients. The forms are removed once the cast concrete can support itself. We use Type 1 Portland cement for the finished coat. It's recommended to match the finished coat to the cement type that's used for the concrete. I will discuss the mix ratio later in this video. With a 12 inch hawk and a 4 inch plastering trowel, we are applying the cement to the face of the step to prepare for the bull nose design. The bullnose design is unique to Philadelphia. I would say that 80% of our steps here in Philly have this curve. A brum finish for traction is important in preventing slip and falls. I am sure Benjamin Moore would not be happy if their clients are slipping in and out of their stores. When finishing steps, patience and timing is required. You must apply the cement and wait till the cement dries to finish smoothing it out again. We are only talking minutes. Before smoothing or slicking the cement finish, it's important to begin with clean and wet tools. This red grout sponge is the ideal tool for finishing the facial of a concrete step. A professionally finished step will have sharp corners and edges. You want to continuously fine tune your finish. Remember, timing is key. Keep in mind that while you're working on an area, you are allowing another area to dry. A level and slick curve in the bull nose shows the finisher's level in skill and craftsmanship. The finisher revisits the corners after a few minutes of drying, sharpening and slicking them. Using a finer horsehair brush, the finisher fine tunes the treads, knocking down the rough areas. We are at the final stage of finishing, smoothing, slicking, and sponging out rough areas of the cement until the step looks like it was precast at a factory. This is also the stage to step back and look for areas that need brushing, troweling, and repairing before the caution tape is tied around the work. I will list all the tools and supplies used for this project in the description below. For our finished coat, we use a 1 to 2 mix ratio, 1 part Portland cement to 2 parts of bar sand. As you can see, our corners are sharp, plumbed, and level. Novices struggle to finish sharp corners, like these. Now look at that bull nose finish. It's level and it's slick. You can do work of this quality, now that I have shown you how to do this job. Remember, it's important not to rush the process and to efficiently use and manage your dry time.
please like, share, comment, and subscribe to Dependable Concrete's channel. This will allow me to inform you on the products we use to complete this project. I immediately respond to all questions and comments, so please leave a question or comment below. Please click the yellow mixer icon on the screen to subscribe to see more of our videos.